Hi, in this video we will discuss ISA CAF that is Certified Automation Professional. What is it? What are the benefits of certification? How we can apply and do preparation to become a Certified Automation Professional? My name is Manoj Rana. I am a CAF CPMP Certified Professional Engineer. So let's begin. The International Society of Automation is a global non-profit organization which was established in 1945 mainly for engineers, technicians, business people, educators and students who work, study or interested in automation field. This organization primarily functions setting up the standards for automation, providing education and training. It also publishes books and technical articles and organizes conferences and exhibitions for automation professionals and certifies industry professionals. CAP Certified Automation Professional is one of them which we will go over thoroughly. ISA provides this certification after objective assessment and confirmation of your skills and expertise as an automation professional. Now the question is why you need CAP certification? What are the benefits of that? So it's for those who wants to distinguish their automation knowledge and wants to recognize as a professional with worldwide credibility. It can improve your career opportunities in terms of promotion, pay scale, job portability. It also encourages lifelong learning and professional development. And the most important, it will grow your knowledge and skills. During the preparation of the exam, you are likely to know latest standards, technology that will keep your knowledge up to date. And that is the most important requirement in today's world. The certification process is simple. First, you need to check your eligibility. If you fulfill the criteria, then pay the application fee and send your application documents with fee details to ISA. Once your application is verified, you will be eligible to attend SAP exam which will be either online or offline. You can choose it as per your convenience and availability in your country. Once you pass the exam, you will become Certified Automation Professional. ISA will provide you certificate and badge. CAP certification will be valid for three years from the date of exam pass. For race certification, it requires at least 150 professional development points over the last three years or you have to pass the test again. However, certification fee is required for both the cases. The eligibility criteria are based on education and work experience. If you have four years of technical degree, then at least five years of experience in automation field is required. If you have two year technical degree, then at least 8 years of work experience is required including 2 years of responsible in charge. Without degree can also apply but there should be at least 10 years of work experience in automation field including 2 years in a position of responsible charge. Now the responsible charge does not refer to work like management control, administrative functions like accounting, labor relations and sales marketing. Keep in mind that your education and work experience do not overlap when compiling the total number of years required for certification. The next step is to pay online fee that is 467 USD for a non-ISA member and 373 USD for those having ISA membership. This amount includes application fee as well as exam fee. Then you have to send your application with supporting documents and fee details to ISA before the submission deadline as mentioned on ISA website. Based on your application submission date, you will get one year period to pass the exam that called a testing window of 12 month duration. During this one year period, you can retake the exam multiple times, but a retest fee is applicable. But in my opinion, it's better to take time and prepare well than attend exam and clear it in one shot. ISA reserves the right to audit the information provided in your application. So if your application is selected for audit, you will be required to verify details 
like your employment history, position of responsible charge, training, education, as it relates to your application. Failure to do so will result in revocation of your application and certification. The fee will be non-refundable in that case. Once your application is successfully verified, you will receive an email with ID number. With that, you can schedule your exam, maybe online or offline. In some countries, offline also available. For online, you can go through Promatic Center website and select the nearest center with suitable date and time to schedule your exam. Now let's discuss about the exam. It's a four hour duration with 175 multiple choice questions. The exam syllabus is divided into seven knowledge categories with each further subdivided into total 32 topics. For this exam, ISA recommended a primary book, a guide to automation body of knowledge. The exam aims is to test your skills and knowledge in six domains that are feasibility study, definition, system design, development, deployment, operation and maintenance. The important thing that each domain you have to qualify to pass the exam. The percentages and the number of questions that related to each domain and task is mentioned in the table. The following is the comprehensive list of exam related resources which are categorized domain wise in the table. Exam candidate should also be familiar with the following standards and codes. For passing score evolution, a modified Engoff method is used to determine the passing point of the exam, which uses the subject matter expert judgments who examine the contents of each question and determine how many minimal qualified candidates will answer the question correctly which helps to determine the difficulty level of the exam and some of the predicted difficulty values for each question is averaged across the judges to define the passing cutoff score. Just take an example, 100 correct answers out of 175 do not guarantee a pass. However, there is a possibility of 90 correct answers out of 175 may pass the exam because cutoff varies with the question difficulty level. All the calculation for exam questions difficulty level and passing cutoff will done in the software at backend so you will receive an instant result after taking an online exam. ISA does not provide a passing score. Instead, you are only informed of a pass. If you didn't pass the exam, you will receive a score report that indicates your percentage within each domain. The purpose is to analyze the results in order to improve study areas where you might pass the exam next time. Percentages are not used to calculate the candidate passing score. In the last, there are a few suggestions. Consistent study with few years of automation experience is enough to pass the exam. Focus on concept rather than memorizing complex formulas and word to word definitions. And make sure to attempt all the questions as time is usually enough 175 questions in 4 hours. Keep in mind that all 6 performance domains you need to qualify to pass the exam. When more than one option looks correct, then carefully read the question and figure out what the question is asking for, then select the best answer. Use online resources available for the preparation of CAP exam if needed. And I cannot say the exam is easy or difficult as it depends on individual knowledge, skills and preparation. Definitely you will gain the knowledge during the preparation. If not, pass try again with more efforts. All the information I shared based on the current scenario and the documents available on ISA website. In future, it may update or change. So please check and reconfirm on the website to get the updated information. Thanks for watching.